This might be a silly example, but I remember when I was in high school, I, I believe I was a senior, and I was trying to save a lot of money. I was mowing lawns back then, and not the lawn care business I own now, but it was the, my first lawn care business. I got out for quite a few years. And I remember I was subscribing to Success Magazine, Inc. Magazine, and Entrepreneur Magazine, or, or something like that. Maybe I was subscribing to two, and I don't know why I even remember this, but I remember that I was going to get this third subscription to a magazine, and I'll bet it cost 15 bucks. And so I was trying to figure out which magazine I should cancel because I liked the two that I was subscribing to. And it was so dumb in hindsight. I had a lot of money saved up at the time too, especially for a high school kid, but yet I wanted to conserve my money, so I was willing to give up this $15 a year subscription and replace it with another one. And it's a silly example, but I think it's one that a lot of us do when it comes to education and knowledge. So as I've become more successful, as I've been willing to spend more money to grow my ability and my education, I've observed that almost every single person I know that makes a lot of money and that owns a company that's truly growing, most are not, that's truly growing, they are all, almost all of them are parts uh, are a part of a, a group of some kind, like a mastermind, a networking group, some kind of a business group. Now, I have some friends that are very successful that work for big companies, like big multinational companies that make tons of money that are an exception to this. But they, I believe, have sort of been mentored up through their companies by internal people. But most of us entrepreneurs, business people, we have nobody to talk to, nobody to go to, nobody understands what we're going through, nobody understands, well, I mean, there's really a lot of times for us, nobody that will say, hey, here's the next bottleneck that's coming in your life, you better go figure this thing out now so that when that bottleneck appears, you can solve it. And that's why I think it's incredibly important to be part of these groups. So where I'm going with this and why I gave the example of the magazine is that a lot of the stuff, like, for example, all the really good groups with the best people and the smartest people and all the people you want to get to know, they're all expensive. You, the free groups never last. They never work. They're all expensive. But I so believe in this. There's no scenario where I would not be part of a business group. And the challenge is that it's really easy or it's really difficult to figure out how you're going to pay for it because what happens is you don't get really successful and then join a business group. You can, but the ideal is that you join some of these groups and you go to these conferences and you buy the knowledge before you're successful so that it will make you successful. So where I want to go with this is it's really dangerous to get into something. Let's, let's So let me put a number to it. Let's say you find something you could join for $400 a month and you'll be surrounded by a lot of people that really could lift you up, motivate you, encourage you, and you'd learn a lot that you could take home and apply to your business. I want to share an idea of how to think about this because what happens is most individuals will get all excited. They'll join something. They'll get some success out of that thing. Then they'll get busy and then their excitement will fade. And then they'll say, wait, should I really be spending this month there, this money every month? And then on one day, they'll sort of have this down day and they'll say, you know what? I'm going to save some money. I'm going to exit that thing. And as a result, they miss, out of, they miss out on all the benefits of it, all the future benefits. So here's how to mentally comfort yourself and pay for this thing so you don't have to re, renegotiate with yourself every month if you should still continue doing it. So let's say that this membership, this this business group, this networking group you're in costs $400 a month. My argument is all that group has to do is help you sell an additional $1,000 a month in recurring work. That's all it has to do. Once it does that, it's paid for forever and you never have to think about it again. The only reason you leave the group is if that group is no longer satisfying what you need and you move to another group. It's a mistake in my mind to stop being part of a group altogether Rather, I think you should, if you're leaving one, you should go to the next one because it's a common trait that I see with all very successful people. And the reason I say all you need to do is sell $1,000 worth of work is because if you think about how most jobs work, there's 40% or less in labor cost, maybe 20%, this is a made-up number, in variable costs such as fuel and some basic supplies and things like that. And then there's about 40% that's going to go into things like overhead and profit. And again, not perfect numbers, just an example. So I wouldn't say to you that if it's $400 a month, all you need to do is sell $400 in new work because that's not true. You've got cost involved in performing that $400 and earning that $400. So that's why I say mentally, if you can find $1,000 in recurring work that this thing you're part of has helped you make, then mentally take it off the table. Quit renegotiating with yourself every single month. Quit beating yourself up about the expense and say there are so many benefits to this thing 
and it's paid for. I paid the group helped me pay for it. It's done. I don't have to think about it anymore. When you think about it that way, it'll just simplify your thought process. It'll be one less thing on your mental plate every month. It's done. It's taken care of. And you'll get all the benefit from now until years to come from being part of that thing. And again, all of the winners I know, all of the people I know that make a lot of money, and to me, $100,000 a year is not a lot of money. I'm talking a lot of money. They are all part of some type of a networking mastermind business type group.